Acanthosis nigricans is most commonly a result of a systemic condition, so the results are often symmetrical or bilateral. The areas that are usually affected include skin folds, especially the armpits or the axilla, and the neck. The affected skin will be significantly thicker or more harsher to the feel and hyperpigmented or darker. It is very commonly associated with certain conditions. So if you ever see acanthosis nigricans, you look for these conditions. The most common is insulin resistance and more especially in people who are obese. So if you see somebody who is obese and they have acanthosis nigricans, it is very likely that they have diabetes type 2 or that they're going to develop diabetes sometime soon. It is also associated with Cushing syndrome and polycystic ovarian syndrome. Less commonly but more aggressively, it is also seen in gastric adenocarcinoma and some other visceral malignancies. So it can be a specific sign, although not very sensitive. Its presence indicates an unhealthy body or unhealthy lifestyle, but sometimes it can also be indicative of some other malignancies. There is no specific or targeted treatment for acanthosis nigricans. Treating the underlying condition sometimes helps and lessens the progression of the disease. Although, if the disease has started, it is very unlikely that it will regress. It will either stay the same or continue progressing. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.